Live chat. Live chat. There all we of, go. All the messages. <sighs> Brain she is just, like. She was just saying that she doesn't need a skirt with owls on it. I was like, ooh. A skirt with owls on it seems very on brand for Katie, but I think this fabric would be better for a pair of pietro shorts with owls all over it. So years ago, in particular, before you owned the store, yes, the very one of the very first garments I sewed was the Chardon skirt by Deer and Doe that I bought fabric from Fabrications uh -huh. uh, with buses on it. Yes, um, and I, I had that fabric. I had uh, seen another woman in the store like wearing the skirt. Like a coca fabric? I think it was Pretty cotton and steel. Really? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'd seen another woman in the store with a, with that skirt, and I'm like, oh my god, it's yeah. fantastic! And I bought the pattern on site, yeah. and um, and I loved it. And, and that's it's now, and that's how your obsession with Deer and Doe started. That is how my obsession with Deer and Doe started, See, and that is how my. Uh, but I and I've I've sized out of that skirt now, so it hangs in my ah. closet. And I look at it and I feel Make like a bag with it. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, recycle yeah. it into a bag. I I've been trying to upcycle some of my clothes into shabby sized clothes. Got it. So um, you've just been like shoving this bolt at the camera. Yeah, look at the owls. <laughs> <laughs> like not really saying why you're shoving it there and not giving people like a good long look. At the Sorry. Owls. <laughs> This is the <laughs> owl fabric. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, the other thing that I think this would be great for talking about bags mm -hmm. is the Oxbow Tote Sew Along yes. starts very soon. We're still waiting on some hardware, which is why ah. the kits have not gone up. I think they'll be in tomorrow's newsletter. I had somebody in the story um, yesterday asking about what did we use to stiffen the bottom of the sample bag? Peltex. Peltex? Peltex. Okay. Um, so this is the sample bag that Michelle made. Okay. This is, uh, there's Peltex in the bottom. I believe there's SF-101. And then because this uh, corduroy is lightweight, mm -hmm. there's, I think she said two layers of batting mm. um, that she's she has quilted. And then, so yeah. if you were using... Just cotton batting. Just cotton batting. Got it. If you were using a canvas... You could do soft and stable with this, too. You could and you'd have a more structured bag. That'd be really nice, actually. There's all sorts of options. Yeah. And that's one of the things that Michelle's going to talk about in the first week of... Um, mm -hmm the sew along mm -hmm. uh, but if you're using a thicker fabric you don't need all that interfacing so the owls or this oh it's so heavy it is so heavy that thing almost just pulled you off your chair it did and um this is a polyester which i think would be a little bit more durable than yeah. a cotton canvas it would be. which would be really nice for a bag it would be um and normally we wouldn't buy a polyester canvas but this beautiful print from Ojibwe artist uh, Jackie Travers, I could not resist. No. So. Um, we've been bringing in quite a few of uh, her, yes. her fabrics. And yeah. I have heard a lot of feedback designs. from people that it's really nice to see yeah. um, to see the, the, yeah. her designs in substrates other than quilting cotton. Yes. Um, yeah. So we had it in a jersey. Yes. A poplin. Yep. And, and can, now this canvas, canvas. this is it, this um, looks like Jackie Traverse, or am I miss? Uh, no, this is also Jackie Traverse. It is Jackie yeah. Traverse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Traverse or Traverse? I don't know. So this is a poplin. Yeah, the butterfly garden. Yeah. Um, and this one is like whimsical. Yes. And so pretty. Yes. Um, and I I sewed. Her, the other one we had with the Ojibwe rose, I sewed a dress out of it, mm. and the poplin sews up really, really nicely. Yeah. It's very crisp, and it yeah. barely needs to be ironed. Nice. Um, so yeah. I find, like, I I am a serial ironer. I iron all of oh, my clothes um, when they, like, I hang most of my yeah. things to dry and then iron them because um, I don't like wrinkles. Um, but I barely need to iron that one. Nice. Yeah, so... Just beautiful. I think we've got this in this one in four, four colors. colors. The canvas in, in three, three colors. colors. Yeah. The owls in yeah. three colors. It also comes in like a polar fleece, I think, and maybe a flannel. But like, if there was a lot of demand for that, we could certainly bring those in. Well, polar fleece would be nice for like in the fall. The fall. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine the uh, the um, the po pogan pogan pip poganip the new Friday. The Friday pullover. Oh. It's like super 90s. Oh, with the color blocking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like you could pair it with some solids. Yeah. It would be like super fun. 
So super, then I'd have super, to bring in fun. solid polar fleece, and then the polar fleece, that's how it takes over. It does, and it would get everywhere. <laughs> and it would get everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. I feel like we haven't done Fab Chat together in, like, forever. I was, I you was were gone and... a lot in February. I was gone a lot in February, and circumstances, yeah. It's just, life happens. Life happens, that's yeah, good. absolutely. It's good. Look at us in our cardigans. Well, it's like zero degrees right now, and it's going to be 14, and it's 14, 14, I know. 14 later, so it doesn't you know, make any sense. To... No, I've got like a nice summer dress underneath. And then this is a hemp jersey. Yeah, that we've had. That's the stuff yeah. we've had. And I keep trying to convince people that hemp is awesome. I am so sad hemp because is like, people need to buy more hemp. This yarn, this yeah. is the ply, this is the worsted weight. Yes, it is. And we have it on 50% off yeah, now. Yeah, people are people have slept on that when I we know. had the it is so nice. When we had the the leap day sale, yes. I ended up buying like uh a sweater's quantity plus for me and my husband i yeah. like i shoved my phone at him and i'm like pick the colors you want i'm making you a sweater yes. out of this yarn because yes. it's so nice yes and yes and it like it washes and, up so nice and we still have sweater quantities of a lot of colors we do yeah yeah, yeah. So, it, i'm very tempted to just go in and get sweater quantities of things too yeah not that i don't already have two, sweater quantities of two more sweater quantities of that at home yeah so well i bought i bought enough they they had just done a knit along for a like striped yes. unisex pullover and yes they do lots of striped things yeah, yeah. and it, the way the colors like blend it, it's just so mm -hmm. so perfect mm -hmm. so um speaking of colors being perfect together right so, like I said you 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 it's buy almost, things it's almost like with intention it's almost like I bought it's almost like I know what I'm doing wow. <laughs> The, when you see Isn't this, this together, a cute little outfits. This is when you have to be like, like the the imposter syndrome has to fall away because this is just very perfect. It's gorgeous, it is gorgeous. And, yes, and dear staff people, if you want this in the first two weeks after it arrives, you have to pay full price. <laughs> sorry, Carrie. Carrie is going to jump on here, I know, and right? it's sorry. I and think we should probably remind people of that. We can we can remind people. We of have that. to leave some well, we, for customers. We we stopped doing that during the pandemic because things were just because things were ridiculously selling out yeah. very fast. But yeah, wouldn't this be such a cute little outfit, like a dress, uh, a dress, you know, or like a pair of like flowy pants, and then this as like a vest sort of duster over top. This this textured jacquard would be so cute. You could even do some These like are a color so blocking a, tiered ooh, something. This is a uh, the linen linen viscose, viscose uh, jacquard, so it's a little bit sheer, and it's got this fantastic texture to it. And we have a bunch of colors. Yeah, this is that's the European laundered this linen. This is the laundered linen, and I think we've had this color before, or maybe not. I, no, we have not, not had this not color, this but we've had similar. This, yeah. Um, so this is what, I mean, everybody loves it. And then this one, mm. this is a cotton linen blend also I from love, Merchant & Mills. And I, I, I'm I not a pink person, and I love this. Yeah, well, it's tempered by the burgundy and the peach. Yeah, and the blue. And the blue. Yeah. Yeah. And this one's a little bit more uh, affordable than the linen, but the linen is stunning. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so... There is currently a worldwide linen shortage. What? If you did not know. I did not know. Yeah. So oh. there's a linen shortage. Apparently, 80% of the world's linen supply is grown in Europe. Yes, and I there, knew that. And there have been crop failures in the last year or so because of extreme weather in Europe. And so there's um, the, the crop last year was not as good as it normally is. So consequently, there is now a linen shortage. Okay. And linen linen prices are jumping. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it was nice to find the linen cotton blend because yes. it's more affordable. Yes. Um, and I mean blending linen and cotton together does it makes a really nice texture. It's um a little bit less prone to that rumpled look. That linen you know? gets, yeah. yes. And um it's a nice sort of medium weight with a nice smooth hand. Sometimes when you've got a really lightweight linen, it ends up very crisp. But yes. this has got a little bit more softness in a in a lighter weight um, yep. because of the cotton. So, 
Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, climate change is horrible. It is happening. That's for sure. We, we, yeah. It is I, unavoidable and happening. I, I, I'm an optimist. I still maintain that humans are creative and humans can figure things out. I was thinking about so. you last night because, um, be, just before I went to bed, um, uh -oh. my husband put on a do an HBO documentary yes. about um, the preparation for Y2K. Oh my God. <laughs> Which I was like, okay. And I remember living through it. And like there the was. The amount of like doomsday yeah. conversations like my parents had with yeah. people and family members yeah. about Y2K. And in retrospect, I'm like, well, this it's was sort ridiculous. ridiculous. Yes. This was so stupid but there was there was one person who was on there who was like like we're creative we're gonna figure it out and it reminded me of yes. of you because that i know through through the last couple of years that has been your stance on well and often humans need a crisis before they've got the impetus them. the impetus to figure things out and they need a crisis before uh, organizations and governments are willing to invest the money um, and the concentration into fixing a crisis, which is what we saw in the pandemic, yes. right? Medicine, vaccine technology left ahead yeah. um, more rapidly because of the crisis. Well, and they're doing some interesting things now with that vaccine technology. I was reading something yeah. they're doing some, uh, I know they were doing some AIDS research and yes. uh, cancer research yes. as well. And yes. it looks like there's a yes. lot of promise it's amazing. Um, yeah. on the horizon with that. Yeah, so. Exactly. I don't know. I I can't quite buy into your optimism uh, yet, okay. but um, I would love for it to be. <laughs> I, I I that would be it's a well, beautiful the, vision. The perspective you also have to have the perspective of number one. The planet's always going to be fine. The planet. Oh, the planet will be fine. Yeah, hu be humans may not, but the humanity, planet will be. Humanity as a whole will probably be fine. Yes. Individual humans. Yes. Your mileage may vary. Yeah, right. Right. Well, and you know, you know that's where our privilege comes in because we do live in one of the you know yeah, developed right? countries so, of the world, and yeah. And, and we're crafters, so we'll survive. There we go. Thank you, Danielle. What did you say? We're crafters, so we'll survive. Exactly. Post apocalyptic life skills, exactly. people. Exactly. We are. We will be highly valued members of society because we can turn things into clothing, right? To protect people from whatever extreme I weather know it's going to be. I think I've talked about this on here before, but there was. How do we get into? Well, because you're talking about linen, linen shortages. I know, I know. And we've had a non-existent winter. <laughs> no, I know. And, there was... And I'm in a moment of, like, uh, I think I, I'm in a little bit of... This winter, I've been in a little bit of a moment of, like, climate grief. Yes. Because it's like, what do winter cultures do when there's no more winter? No, and I know right? you're because a big, like... a lot like... of cultural stuff, a lot of Canadian cultural stuff, I think people take, take for granted. Yeah. And they don't understand that, like, these things that we do in the winter are integral parts of our culture yeah and you can't do them if there's no snow and ice no you were saying um there when when the last of us came out there was an article that ran about why um all of the depictions of the men choosing flannel shirts are the wrong fiber to uh wear in an apocalypse that what you should be wearing is wool because it's yes. antimicrobial yes. it dries fast yes it's lighter and will keep you warm yes. um and that the, the cotton flannel is not the way to go yes. so yeah it was interesting no oh we got so many like but, look, construction see, people lots of construction but see what did what would edna what did would edna mode say what would and i never look back luck favors the prepared there we go and we're prepared it will you're, be bald, dramatic, heroic. <laughs> your your stash is your is yes. your uh, bit I love, on your stash. I love this. Pull yourself together. I love this mug. So that movie is a fantastic movie. I love it. I love Edna Mode. <laughs> Hence the mug. Hence the mug. <laughs> um, let's show off this, and then look at this cute little book. He's got feet. feet. I know. He has little feetsies. It's Hey Diddle Diddle. It's all backwards, sorry. But it's a little uh, fabric book for little kids. So you can sew it up for the... I think we have the, three different ones. You can sew it up for the babies in your life. Yeah, we've got Hey Diddle Diddle. 
And it's this cute little, um, it's this cute little story with and cows. feet for the baby to chew on. And feet for the baby to chew on. And, um, and it is extremely cute. And then we also have one, we have one panel that makes three little, um, <coughs> Like first words, first colors, first numbers. Books, okay. Like little mini ones. And then the other panel is uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. Star. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Those are super cute. Super cute. Yeah. And, um, well, I'll talk about it later when it comes, but we don't have it right now. It is a cute fabric It is a, book. such a cute little fabric book. And so, like, quick and easy. Like, some batting yeah. or some soft and stable. Laura sewed up the sample, and she said it was, like, an hour. Yeah, because you make three flat things like this, and then you sew them down the middle. It's just easy. It's just sewn right in the middle here. And you just attach. Yeah, so, like, if you've got a baby shower or, like, a first birthday party, something that like that. That would be perfect. Um, there's a little space here to say... Uh, Made with love for, so you could embroider, oh, embroider or yeah. use like a little permanent marker to write somebody's name on there. Um, and yeah, it's super duper cute. Very nice. Yeah. And a very fast little project. Yeah. And uh, I forget how much they are. I don't know. But probably not that much. I haven't sat and looked at that one yet. Should I show people this? You should show people that. So That's we, super cute. So speaking of wool and the timeless appeal uh, of wool, um, uh, Twist uh, Yarn Festival is August 10th this year. And we are running a little bus. Um, we're running a, like a charter bus. Um, it, we leave here at 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll return here at 4 o'clock. And we just got in one of the first things that we're going to put in our swag bags. Because, of Ooh, course, there's going to be swag yes. bags. So cute little pin. You can put it on your bag or your shirt or whatever. And... Um, it just says fabrications goes to twist with the date and time on it. So, nice. um, little swag bag things, fun. So yeah, we've Speaking got some others. Of we got swag some other bags, swag plans. Um, we I haven't put the information up yet because we're yeah. going to take the picture today. Yeah. Um, but our birthday party is coming up. Yeah. Oh, and I should say there are still some tickets left. Yes. It's on our website. Just search for twist uh, or bus trip. On yep. our website, and that'll take you to. It's in the, the um, events? events page. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. Also in the events page. I'm fairly certain it's in the events Easy page. to find. Um, our birthday. birthday party is coming up. Yes, it is. April, I can't, I can't remember, 13th, I think. Yeah. That sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not any, it's not, it has not been publicized anywhere yet. No. The information will be up in the next. Yeah. It's still in our heads. Day or two. Um, Got to download the upload yeah. or upload the download, something like that. Something like that. Um, but for anyone who's come to our birthday parties before, it is going to be bigger and better and more fabulous. I am putting together wow. the swag bags and they are... Really? Yeah. That's exciting. Sorry, the swag bags are like pretty intense this year so far. Wow. Um, I had no idea. Yeah, the swag we bags are like... We haven't talked in a while. No, we haven't talked in a while. <laughs> Actually, we, which I have so many things to talk to you about. Great. Um, the swag bags are like looking like let's, they're... Let's go for a drive and get the chocolate, those chocolate chili buns. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> let's do that. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> distracted just whatever birthday um, party, birthday okay. party. the okay. swag bags are looking like they're going to be around a 100 dollars value what yeah they're like it's pretty intense what yeah all of them all of them good lord um, there are tons of prizes. the the wheel this year instead of just spinning for a discount you can win prizes amazing um and we're still working a little bit on trying to secure a like big raffle big prize raffle for thing. the day yeah so we're waiting for people that email us back if yeah. they do that I'm, is i'm uh, that is TBD. I, yeah, I might have to, you know, sit on a phone um, with someone and be like, please get please. back to me. Please. Um, so very, very exciting. So it's our, it's our seventh anniversary of being in business. Yes. Um, Catherine and I both have our birthdays in April. Um, so, and 
Jan the business we bought the, the the business in January, which is a terrible time to have a party. So yeah. April, April it is. April is a better time. April is a better time. Yeah. So um, yeah, and so we do a party every year, and we've done different things. We have done different and things. How many swag bags are we going to have? Fifty. 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 So swag if you bags. want a swag bag, yep. last year we had a lineup around the building. We did, and I I have a feeling that but pretty we're going much to have... everybody who lined up got a swag bag. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. um, but it's a like come early. There will be cake because, of course, there will be. Yes, cake. we're going to do cake this year, not cupcakes. Yeah, we're going to switch it up. Um, and we're going to get a good old Costco cake. Yes, um, and it's it's just going to be a good fun time. Yeah, and uh, you know, come meet your friends uh, here. Uh, we won't have any party hats because apparently that's not no, a thing uh, anymore. I, it is really hard to get party hats and those like blower things. Blower things? Yeah. Um, the whole single The blower use... things make sense, but the party hats I didn't think of. But yeah, single use paper. Yeah. But they're paper. But they're paper. I guess maybe because the elastic, I don't maybe. know. Or maybe people just aren't people wearing aren't having parties anymore. Um, I haven't looked this year. Was Last year was really difficult to find. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, it is, it is what it is, I Yeah, guess. it is what it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And there's some more fun stuff coming up, too. We just, we're, like, slowly releasing some information because, uh... You can't do it all work. No, and and we we were without our photographer for a week while she was sick. And yes. so her first priority was getting up. fabric we're, up on the we're website. We're still getting caught up on that. Yeah. Yeah, so there is, the, if you are somebody who pays attention... There is quite a lot of stuff in the store that is not on the web right now. So if you are looking for new, interesting things, definitely come into the store. Yeah. Should we talk about the the trip that we did? Or not I yet? know, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. No, because okay. I want to wait to... Until we work out more bugs. More bugs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We got something really exciting coming, right. but it's still a little buggy as yes. all things As all things are. technological are. Yeah. 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 Um... Yeah, I think that's that's all she wrote. I'm like dying for my children to go back to school. Um, that all of my my babysitting or not babysitting, but like entertainment plans this week fell through, oh, no. and um, it has been a lot of like. Actually, it was hilarious yesterday. So um, Shabby and his friend ended up video calling each other Cute. Um, because the friend was was sick, and it. Uh, listening to them the friend was playing minecraft and yes. sharing his screen and yes. shabby was like narrating what he was doing and it sounded like watching a baby youtube video like it was so uh, funny. Uh, that's they're funny. very amusing with each other and then they yeah. like they sit there and they like read pages from the pokedex to each other cool so it's like cute. sure that's very cute um but yeah he's i there is only so much talk about Minecraft and that Pokemon that I can handle. Physically uh, survive. Yeah, yes. and, and my husband's been in the office. I've been hiding downstairs in the basement. Mm -hmm. And they'll come and they'll like, they'll like tap their little fingers on my door. And I'm like, I'm in a meeting. So, I can't handle it. No. You're wearing me down. Oh my God. It's torture. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Um, um, but I think we've got mimosas planned for Monday morning. You've got what? Mimosas, Mimosas. Uh, for Monday oh, morning. The store, yeah. Yes, when for for the staff. When... You know what? That's not a bad idea for like the first day of school or like first day. I of know. Back. We should do a early morning shopping for moms. We, we tried that once and it didn't didn't go. No. No. Well, okay. It's That's an idea. Okay. It is an idea. <laughs> we maybe have maybe lots at this of those. point, maybe at this point it's like it's one of those things that needs to cycle back around. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta try ideas more than once. A hundred percent before they work. It's sort of 100%. like it's sort of like giving you know new foods to your baby. Yes, if yeah. They don't like they need like four or five times before they really like it. So yeah. Sometimes it's the same thing with customers. <laughs> Not that you're our babies. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> awesome. Well, okay. I hope everybody enjoys the sunshine today. Yeah. And it's more, we it's be will. Fourteen degrees. Maybe. Yeah. It's Amazing. minus one right now. Amazing. But... All right. Okay. Uh, we will see you all next week. Bye bye. 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 Woohoo.